Well, that left home when I was three, and it didn't leave much to mom and me. This old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Now, I don't blame him because he run and hid, but the meanest thing that he ever did was before he left, he went and made me soon. Well, he must have thought that it was quite a joke, and it got a lot of lads from a lots of folks. Seems that I had to fight my whole life through. Some guy would giggle and I'd get red, and some guy would laugh and I'd bust his head. I tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. Well, I grew up quick and I grew up mean. My fists got hard, my wits got keen. Roam from town to town to hide my shame. But I made me a vow to the moon and stars. I'd search the honky tonks and bars and kill the man who gave me that awful name. Well, it was Scotland Berg in mid July, and I'd just to town, my throat was dry, and I thought I'd stop and have myself a brew at the Union. <laughs> At an old saloon on a street of mud, there I tailed dealing studs, sat the dirty mangy dog that named me Sue. Well, I knew that snake was my own sweet dad from a worn out picture that my mother had. I knew that scar in his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and bent and gray and old. I looked at him and my blood ran cold. And I said, My name is Sue! How do you do? Now you're gonna die! Yeah, that's what I told. Well, I hit him hard right between the eyes and he went down, but to my surprise, he come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. But I busted a chair right across his teeth and we crashed through the wall and into the street, kicking all guns in the mud and the blood and the bear. I tell you I've fought tougher men, but I really can't remember when. He kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. I heard him half then, I heard him cuss. He went for his gun and I pulled my purse and he stood there looking at me and I saw him smile. And he said, son, this world is rough. A man's gonna make it, he's gotta be tough. And I know I wouldn't be there to help you alone. So I give you that name and I said goodbye and I knew you'd have to get tough or die and it seems that name that helped to make you strong. Yeah, I said now you, you just fought one hell of a fight and now you hate me and you've got to write to kill me now and I wouldn't blame you if you do. But you ought to thank me before I die for the grab one of the guts and your spit and I cause I'm the son of a bitch and named you Sue. Yeah, what will I do? What can I do? I got all tucked up and I threw down my gun, called my pa and he called me his son, and I come away with a different point of view. And I think about him now and then, every time I, every time I went, and if I ever had a son, I think I'm gonna call him B Bill or George, anything but Sue. I, I'll tell you anything, I hate that stupid name.